Good evening, everyone. It's Tuesday, January the 22nd, 2008, and we're matchup between the Foxborough Lady Warriors and the Oliver Ames Lady Tigers. We're getting ready. This is Mark Stopa, and I'm joined by Bob Blakely. And we're getting ready for, to uh, start up the action here tonight, Bob. And we're listening to Mr. Al Sozio make his announcement. Good sportsmanship is the number one priority of all of our schools. And as we get ready for the lineups to be announced, uh, the, the Foxborough Lady Warriors come into the contest with an overall record of six and four and five and three in the Hockmock League. And Olive Rames comes in with an overall record of nine and two uh, overall and seven and two in the Hockmock League. Should be an interesting matchup. Yeah, these, a, these two teams met first game of the season for Foxborough, the second, second game for Olive Rames. And, and, yes. Uh, I was not at the game, Mark. You were. They played very, very well for three quarters. and, and uh, Well, we actually had a lead, a one-point lead going into the fourth quarter, and uh, we kind of lost focus and, and dissolved and ended up losing a game. Quite frankly, I thought we could have won. It was a back-and-forth uh, kind of a game, as most of these games are, and uh, it, it was a lost opportunity, I thought, but the, I think the team has, has matured and grown since that time. And uh, much deeper bench. Uh, Coach is using everybody on the bench these days, and, and I, that's helped the team overall. I think that fourth quarter in that fourth ga first game, uh, Foxborough was a little gassed in the fourth quarter and didn't have enough energy left. I remember, they faced a lot of pressure in that fourth quarter, is my understanding. Yeah, without question. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So our starting lineup for Foxborough is uh, Sam Briggs, Kristen Huffman, Rahima Scruble, uh, Rachel Jamison, and Tara Greeley. And now we're going to have the national anthem so we'll take a pause oh, so. These two teams certainly know each other, Mark. Um, yes, they do. Saw them face off uh, during the summer, summer leagues, fall leagues. Uh, they, they've been playing each other for the last couple of years, and, and so all the Rams team is not new to Foxborough. Um, they're led by uh, Batista, I believe, their leading scorer, and I think third overall leading scorer in the league at about 15 points a game. Is she so really? She is, yeah. yeah. She's a very active player. She's got a good nose for the ball and, and uh, takes uh, good shots and, and shoots well. Well, this is our, our, our start off for the first game of the second half of the season as everyone uh, starts the march to becoming qualified for the tournament. And uh, Foxborough finds himself, uh, himself six tenths of the way there. Olive Rames with the tip. And they start off, and as you pointed out, Lauren Batista made a nice move to the hoop and uh, gets the first two points on the board. Foxborough brings the ball up the floor, out on the wing to Tara Greeley. She looks to drive baseline, but Batista turns her away there. Sam Briggs gets the ball in low to, to Rahima Struble. Very nicely done. Good square to the hoop uh, by Rahima and a nice, uh, nice first basket. Very strong uh, move there. Olive Rains looking to get the ball into the low post there, but uh, Rahima Struble made a nice athletic move to turn that away and get the steal. Now Rachel Jamison gets the ball to the elbow to Sam Briggs. 
Mahima Struble again looks to score a little weaker that time on their move to the hoop, but uh, a good move nonetheless, and she was able to draw the foul. No, so she she'll did. go to she line for, for two. She didn't hesitate to put the ball up. She didn't hesitate, but had she just squared and taken that step to the hoop, I think she would have been strong enough that she would have gotten the basket and won. Uh, but that's still a good move, and, and drawing the foul is always a good thing. The first is good. Mahima Struble with her second free throw. Also good. So Foxborough takes the early lead at four to two. Oliver Ames, Tigers bringing the ball up the floor. Foxborough in his own defense. Rachel Jameson with the intercept and steal. She's driving hard to the baseline but gets turned away. Tara Greeley, nice look from the left side. Count it as two more. Oliver Ames again bringing the ball up the floor slowly, not looking to, to push. Batista on the wing there. Rachel Jamison tipped the ball, went off the Oliver Ames player, uh, Kelly Duggan, and ball over to Foxborough. Good start to the game here, Bob. Yes. In setting the floor for uh, Oliver Ames, it's uh, Kelly Duggan, Lauren Batista, Alex Chance, Caitlin Ty, and Mari Freitas. Foxborough with the ball, 14 to go, 13 to go on the shot clock. Tarek really out to Rachel Jamison. Look to draw a drive, but nothing there. Six on the shot clock. Getting down to it. Uh, Rahima Struble from up top gets the shot off. Put back by uh, Sam Briggs. Nice offensive rebound and put back there. You know, one thing I do notice, we match up well down low. Uh, and I think that's, that's our plan. We're trying to get the ball down low and uh, off to a good start. Well, certainly that is yeah. one of the strengths. Justin Hoffman with a steal there. Over to Rachel Jamison, score it. And Oliver Ames, his head coach, Elaine Clement Holbrook, has seen enough in this early action. Very she good calls start a timeout. Yeah. And while we have a timeout on the floor, we'd like to thank the Cable 8 uh, staff, but in particular, our producer, Doug Briggs, who turns 50 <laughs> tonight. There he and is. And a hearty happy birthday to our friend oh, and uh, producer, Doug Briggs. Doesn't look a day over 40. That's does he? right now. <laughs> <laughs> So we're happy to do that. But while we do have a break in the accent, obviously, thank you to Cable 8 for making this possible. Uh, Doug Briggs is our producer. Our executive director is Mike Everson. Uh, on camera tonight is Chris Brolin, Ray McKenna, Matt Shea, and Dave Fay. And I'll have to fill in who's got the other positions because I didn't take note earlier. And there's not time now because we're back on the action. I'm sure the guys in the, in the, uh, the truck will help us out there. I'm, I'm hopeful that they will. Okay, Olive Rams with the ball. Foxborough stays in their zone, uh, appearing to Boy, be the 3-2. Thre nice, solid defense, yeah. good deflection, That's ball over to Foxborough. That's three steals early here in the game. That's good awareness. Rachel Jamison with the ball, looking to get it to the po low post to Sam Briggs. Rahima Struble out to Tara Greeley, looks to go baseline. Batista shuts that off, though. And Kristen Huffman's got the ball up top with 10 seconds good to patience on the shot clock. Tara Greeley with the long three-pointer. She didn't look comfortable that's, taking that yeah, shot. Yeah. Uh, but we're, the clock yep. was coming down. Yep. It, was a, it was an appropriate choice. Uh, just a little short off the front end of the rim, and away it went, and over to Olive Rames. They now bring the ball up the floor. Foxborough stays in their zone. Batista with the shot from the right side is good. Can't leave her uncovered too often because no. that'll no. be a problem. All right, Foxborough with the ball. Olive Rames staying in a, a zone themselves, looking to force Foxborough to take that outside shot. Rahima Struble with the ball inside. Had a really nice look at it there, but didn't quite get herself squared. Kind of floated away from that and uh, a little short. So ball over to Olive Rames on the rebound. A good steal by Kristen Hoffman. Gets it to Rachel Jameson driving hoop. She's a little, she got harassed there. Yeah. Couldn't put that one away. Tries to make something happen on the other end. Probably an ill-advised shot there for Olive Rames. Batista steals the ball, however. It's uh, called for a double dribble. 
Fortunately, yeah, we, we, yeah. we didn't hang our head on the, on the mistake and, and uh, stayed there with the defense and caused that turnover on the double dribble. R Rahima off to a good start on the defensive boards and she picks yep. up another rebound. And Michelle Cameron comes into the game for Rachel Jamison to see her first action of the night. Foxworth brings the ball to the floor. And uh, Olive Rams is now in a man defense. Shifting gears here, ball low post to Sam Briggs. Yep. Yep. Yeah, she's a little far away from the basket there, and I, it, when she turned, uh, caused her to hesitate, and uh, ended up with a little shuffle. Ball over to Olive Rams, they bring the ball up the floor. Foxborough stays in their 3-2. Looking to force Olive Rams to take those outside shots. Nice drive to the lane by the Olive Rams player. Another rebound by Rahima Scruble. Olive Rams isn't really challenging much on the uh, rebounding side no, offensively. No, no. They're clearing out rather quickly. Uh, Rahima Struble with, with another wheel and deal from that right side. That didn't go a little short again. A little too quick, I think, with uh, the effort. She's got a she's much better shooter when she gets a, a, a better look at it. So no. hopefully she gets that back. Three-point effort by Oliver Rams off hard. Rahima Struble gets a hand on it, not able to bring it, wheel it in, or reel it in. Yep. And just as I had got done saying that Olive Rams wasn't challenging on the offensive boards. They pick up a couple there. They, they yeah. were in much better position, actually much better position than we were. Uh, and I think we, we didn't look the box. That's Sam Briggs' first foul. Yep. First, foul, first team foul for Foxborough. And the first foul of the game. Yeah. Well, actually, there was a, they didn't think they posted the, the foul early when Rahima went to the, the line. She oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's not up on the scoreboard, so. That fooled me. So the front end of the two shots uh, is short. And Olive Rams will get a second effort from the line. Mentioned earlier on, Mark, the matchups appear to be there for Foxborough down low. And you see repeatedly they've gone inside, whether it be to Sam uh, or to Rahima. And Rahima comes out of the game along with uh, Tara Greeley, replacing them as Leah Tacey and Jesse Heinricher. And actually, in the transition there, Katie Vadalaro, who's on the line now, had subbed into the game, and obviously she was in there. She got subbed in, obviously, to, to rebound. Yep. And, and she proved that good. point by being much more active that last time down. Good, good point, Mark. A, as well as number 53, which is Tessie Dern, uh, a, a sophomore for Olive Rams, who looks to be their tallest player. So Foxborough with the ball with a 11, or 10 to 5 lead. Jess Heinrich with the ball wide left. Not able to drive, drops it to Leah Tacey. She's stuck down there. She's going to have to get that out. She clears it out to Jesse Heinricher, pressured by. Five seconds on the shot clock. We've got to find a shot here. And we do good get shot. we do get the shot yeah, off. Good shot. We come up with the offensive rebound. Good hustle by Jesse Heinricher there. And she is fouled by uh, Tessa Dern of Oliver Ames, number 53. So it'll be Foxborough ball with a fresh shot, shot clock. And uh, you can see, you know, take another look at that fight for the ball there. Jess Heinrich did a nice job getting that and keeping possession and causing the foul. So Kristen Hoffman with the ball up top. You can see Olive Rames is uh, a little more energetic with their defense right now. They're extending a little farther. They weren't harassing the ball earlier. They are now. Jump shot by Sam Briggs is off the rim. Rebound to Olive Rames. Long pass to Batista. Throws the ball up at the hoop. Not That doesn't go, but she'll get two from the free throw line. So Michelle Cameron with the foul. Probably a good foul there because had she given up space, then uh, Batista would have gotten to the hoop and had an easy layup. First foul shot is good. Kayleen Wall checking the game for Sam Brakes. Lauren Batista with five, five of the six away points. You saw her, you've seen her um, make baskets from the inside, from yep. the outside, and obviously probably a very good free throw shooter. She, she is one of those special players in the Hockmark League that can, that can score inside and out. Uh, and it, she proves it on a consistent basis. So nice player, nice kid. Been around her in, in summer camps and so forth. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. We know that going into the game, though, and Foxborough understands that she's going to get her points. Uh, but we can't let her Just, beat us, yeah, and nor, no, nor no. allow others no. to then rise to the occasion and beat us. So let her have her points, and, and if we can shut out the balance, 
of the players, then we'll be in good shape. All right, that was a 30-second timeout, and uh, we're back out there, and Batista's got her second of two foul shots. whose timeout that was, Mark? I, I assume that it was ours. It had to be, right? And I'm yeah. pretty sure it yeah. was. Yeah, okay. So Lauren Batista with her second. That one's off. Rebound oh. Hopefully to Kaylee Wall. Hopefully we had something Wall. to do with that. I, well, I'd like it to think so. her a little bit. Sure, why not? Jess Heinrecker being challenged by Lauren Batista. Ball over to Rachel Jamison. We get it across. Look to set up our offense. Over to Michelle Cameron. Challenged very high. We're not going to give her any space. Looking to drive baseline. That got squeezed off. Ball got tipped. Uh, but I think last touch by Jess Heinricher. So ball over to Olive Rames. Foxborough with a 10 to 6 lead. Kristen Hoffman taking a breather. You see when she comes out of the game, you see that defense tighten up a little bit and, 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 and play tough uh, tough defense on the ball. Oh, yeah, no question. Jump shot by Batista's a little long. They got the offensive rebound, unable to put it back. Kayleen Wall with the defensive rebound. Got to watch those uh, lazy passes yeah. off of that. Got to be very aware. Kayleen Wall with the ball up top, drives hoop. Not able to dish it off to Jess Heinrich on the right side. Batista, Batista with the, the yeah. loose ball. Number 11, Nicole Bostick, a freshman for Olive Rames. Nice head and ball yeah. fake there to duck under. She made that look easy. Hopefully we learn and not let her get away with that again. She's too small to be scoring points yes. on the post. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the ball's tipped out. Uh, Kristen Hoffman and Tarek really come back into the game for Jess Heinricher and Rachel Jamison. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Ball is inbounds safely. Kristen Hoffman looking to push the ball out to Tarek really on the left side. Takes the three-point effort. A little, off, a little long. Rebound over to Oliver Ames, and they push the ball up the floor. They weren't pushing the ball earlier. They no, were, con they were no. content to just to have a set. Yeah, Foxborough's not doing a very good job on the defensive boards. Uh, not seeing anybody box out anybody else. So game, game tied at 10. And now we're, yeah, the game tied at 10. Foxborough with the ball. Not a lot of movement. Haley Wall with a drive left. And Leah Tacey called with the foul in an effort to get that uh, offensive rebound, ball over to Olive Rames. We're simply going to have to do a better job rebounding on the, our defensive end. Some of it was just the way that the defense was moving against the offense. Yeah, see, on that weak That's side just, there, we yeah, just, yeah. We, we, there's, there's no excuse for not having the weak side Shell's boxed out. Step inside yeah, some, and get position, right? yeah, somebody's got to be on the inside there <laughs> to box. <laughs> so Leah Tacey picks up her second foul. Yeah, she lunged, you know, she's actually in pretty good position and both hands up. If she'd have just held her position, I think she would have been okay there. But when she lunged, that's an automatic whistle, as you know. Yes. Coach Bain. Here, we've, got, we've got two on the game clock for the first quarter. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. And you can, I can see Coach Bain uh, over on the bench talking to some of the other forwards there and uh, emphasizing that weak side box out. Long effort by Tara Greeley. Nearly goes. That was right off, centered on the rim, right on the front end. So that brings us to the end of the first quarter. And uh, Foxborough trailing now, 11 to 10. And we've had a dry, sp yeah. dry spell there. Take another look at that almost shot. Good awareness by Tara Greeley to get that ball off just in time. Looked good there for a second. Yeah, she just sure a little, did. just one ball with short. Uh, well, Oliver Ames has finished with an, a 9-0 run. Yeah. Uh, to, to finish up that, we got a great start, Mark. Uh, you know, you saw Rahima uh, and Sam come out of the game, and we saw him talk about it. Our, our, our rebounding. Uh, the down so oh yeah, it uh, certainly dropped off. Right? One of the keys okay. to the game. On yep. On well, well it's, it's one of the keys to every game. You know, you got to take care of the ball. You have to reduce okay. your, your turnovers. Take good shots. Play defense. 
and rebound. And, uh, the game started to turn a little bit when Oliver Ames, they switched out of that zone they were in initially. They went man, they extended, and they made a couple of substitutions to bring in a couple of kids who can rebound. Yeah. And, and once they started challenging us, their offensive boards, they had control of them. And we weren't doing anything to turn them out. So I, I am fairly certain that Coach Bain has uh, implored her players to, to do a better job at that, and we'll see what happens. But it has been one of our weaknesses this season so far. Nice drive to the hoop there by Kristen Hoffman. She doesn't, it doesn't go, but she's able to draw the foul. So she'll go to the line for two. So number, fi yeah, number 53, Tessa Durham. Yeah, number 53, Tessa Durham. She is the tallest player on the floor for OA by far. Oh, yeah. First is good. Yeah. Number 23, Caitlin Ty is checking back in, and Tessa Dern will take a, a seat. Kristen Huffman with her second free throw. And that one's good. So Foxborough retakes the lead, 12 to 11. Early in the second quarter. Foxborough now looking to extend their defense a little bit. Looks like they've switched over to a 2 3. Good fight for the ball by Tara Green. Yeah, you know, she had yeah. real nice yeah. position in there, and that's what we were talking about before. She was on the weak side, but she kept that inside position. Unfortunately, the ball bounced yeah. too far, went over their I head. Think, I don't think it hit anything. No, it's. So it went, it went out too far, but, but nice effort. Yeah, Foxborough looks like it has upped its intensity a little bit on defense. So important. Oh, that was that was a very quick whistle. I, I, kind of unnecessary, I think. But Rehem Estrobel picks up her first foul. Foxborough looking to challenge. Ball comes inside to Batista. Rattles around. Tara Greeley gets to the ball. She made a nice save. Unfortunately, uh, Kristen Hoffman didn't see that she only had one place to throw the ball, and it careened out of bounds, so ball over to OA. Here we go. Nice, nice anticipation by Sam Briggs there. She saw Lauren Batista try to cut baseline. Rachel Jameson yeah. with the jumper from the left side. That's good. I can't help notice the difference. When Rachel's in the, in the game, she gets down the floor so quickly, finds an open spot on the floor. Yep, and stakes uh, it out. We've, we've seen that over the last couple of games. Really makes a difference. Yeah. Always uh, Alex Chase sets up for a three-point effort, and it's it's good. I think they only gave her, did they give her three? Well, the score is 14 to 13. Rahima Strobel with a nice look inside. Not able to put it away. Oh, Rachel Jameson gets leveled there. No foul on that. I'm a little surprised. Wow, but uh, Kristen, Hoffman, yeah. Kristen Hoffman never gave up yeah, on that no. play, and she caused that turnover. She slapped, slapped into the OA player's uh, thigh. So that was uh, very fortuitous. Yeah, she had her foot right on the line. So that was a two-pointer for OA. Tara Greeley, ball top left. Looks to drive, can't find a way there around Batista. Nice lob pass into Rahima Strubel. She's not able to get her hands on it, ball over to OA. But it was a good look, it was the right idea. Tara Greeley really forcing that outside defensive play. Uh, Rahima Strubel made a nice, nice play there, getting both hands up, not fouling that player, interrupting the uh, flow. But Tara Greeley on the, on the weak side, because she, she found herself a little out of position, uh, and trying to get in position, she hit the other player and her foul. So OA ball with a fresh shot clock. Oh, that was a travel. And they and caught they it. it. Yeah. So on the turnover, Foxborough gets the ball. I like what Foxborough is trying to do offensively. You know, they, they go high low. They get the ball to Sam at the high post. Raheem is open underneath. Uh, oh, yeah, gotta without keep, a question. Keep working that. Yep. And it, it's, a good, it's a good offensive scheme that works both against uh, man and, and yes. zone. But... Everything's in the execution. On the line. Sam Briggs makes a nice effort there to save that ball, but is unable to. Checking in for OA is, I didn't catch the number, did you? Number no. 34. Sarah Segel. 
Galloway with the ball. Foxborough stays in 3-2. Uh, Challenging, the, challenging the ball, nice, nice pick off by Rachel Jamison. It's too bad that she uh, oh. uh, nearly a put back. Oh. Rachel Jamison should have oh. finished that to the left side. She had the yes. player shielded had she stayed to the left side. And as soon as she went over the right side, uh, defender got a better position. She had to go weak to the hoop, and, and that's, I think, quite frankly, why she missed that basket. That's, a, that's, that's the second or third steal she's made here in the first yes. half. Anticipating the pass back out of the point. She is quick. Yep. Tara Greeley with the first of two foul shots. And that's good. And now for the second. Also good. Giving uh, Foxborough a three-point lead, 16 to 13. Off of that uh, timeout, I, I like uh, the way Foxborough is approaching this game. Much more enthusiastic on defense. Challenge everything. Challenge those shots. Raheem had a real nice position there on defense. Unfortunately, she gave it up after the shot. I think if she would have just turned a box, she'd have been uh, fine. We'd have had the rebound. But OA ball underneath. Yeah, uh, she's it's too easy. Yeah, you simply yeah. cannot let her have that position there. That is way too easy. So Batista with two for away. Nice look underneath. Great pass by Sam Briggs. Nahima Struble doesn't manage to reel that in, and Sam Briggs tries to get the loose ball and comes out to Nahima Struble. Rachel Jamison with a jump shot off hard. Good Rachel Jamison saves it though. Good hustle on her part. Three point effort by Kristen Huffman on the left side, off on the back of the rim. Ball over to OA. They now have numbers. And too easy. But, the, well, we're able to disturb that. Good defensive hustle from Foxborough. Was there a foul call on that? No. No, just so. tipped out? Just okay. Tipped out, yeah. Okay, so on the floor for Foxborough is Rachel Jameson, Kristen Huff, and uh, Sam Briggs, Leah Tacey, and Abby Marcy. Down the low block to Batista, dishes it out. Two-point effort on the right side, no good. Loose ball, picked up by Oliver Ames. Uh, not much of a defensive effort there, unfortunately, and, and Oliver Ames gets the layup. Low block to Leah Tacey, she squares. Not able to score, throws the ball away. Yeah. Off of OA. <clears throat> and, and you know, good, you, know you, you, you emphasize good physical defense and good things will happen. Yeah. You know, we were getting, if we're getting a few turnovers here that really just are hustle. Well, the kids aren't giving up. Right. You know, Rachel, Rachel didn't turn her back and head back down the court. She, she was able to knock it off the thigh of uh, the OA player. Right. Time right, out so for, uh, for Foxborough. Uh, full timeout, and uh, with 3.52 to play in the first half, it is 17-16 our Rams. You know, lead goes back and forth, it's ebbs and flows. Uh, you know, we need to make some of these baskets that we're getting good looks on. Uh, always, they're not making their first shots, but those second and third opportunities are what's getting us right now, and that's going to come from a little bit better defense, a little bit better rebounding. We'll be okay. I'm not getting more aggressive on both. Oh, I know you're right, especially with Tom Brady. Well, I think she's essentially working on that high low. Well, it's, effect, it's been effective, so you want to stay with it. And we've had some good opportunities, but the passes that have been gone into Mahima down low, she's not been able to handle or, or, or whatever, and, and those balls are going out of bounds and become turnovers. So hopefully with the current uh, crew, they're able to pull that off. On the floor is Kristen Hoffman, Abby Marcy, Rachel Jamison, Leah Tacey, and Kayleen Wall. And Batista checks out of the game for the first time uh, this evening, I believe. I believe you're right. Well, we haven't seen, Mark, we haven't seen either team go full court pressure. No. Uh, it's been a very controlled game. 
Uh, I'm sure things will change in the second half if this game stays well, as close as it is. Without any question. Low, uh, low block for Leah Tacey, out high to Kaylee Weak Wall, side. looks to drive. She's not able to pull that off and travels in the, as a result. And you run into pressure like that, you've got uh, Rachel set up over here on the weak side. Tough, yeah, to, tough to see. You know, you, you, teach, you try to teach the kids that, okay, you, if there's three people on you, what does that tell you? And it should tell them that there's at least one person open <laughs> because the last time I checked the rules, each team's only allowed to have five players out there. So, you know, but that's, that's game awareness, and, and we're talking also about some young players who are trying to figure it out. So steal there, and ball pushed up the floor by Foxborough. Smartly. Smartly held, held up back, because yeah. uh, we didn't have numbers. Kayleen dishes the ball out. Uh, Kayleen will look to, look to drive that left side. That time, she saw that it was shut off and dished it out. That was a smart basketball play. And then uh, we looked to go baseline, got fouled. So with uh, Oway's fifth team foul, it's Foxborough ball under their own basket. Looking to get the ball in. There's nobody moving to an open spot. And Rick, oh boy, he was just about to whistle that. He put his arm up. I think he counted to six. <laughs> if he did, I say thank you. If not, it was just a long five. Abby Morrissey looking to drive left. Nicely done. Leah Tacey with the offensive rebound. She can't put that back. Fresh shot clock so we can take our time. Kayleen Wall with the ball, looks to drive. Shuffling her feet. And subbing back in for Foxborough, uh, Rahima Strobel and Sam Briggs coming in for Leah Tacey and Kayleen Wall. I like these substitutions, Mark. There are no big guys on the floor for uh, for OA right now. Right. Let's see how long that lasts. Well, that should bode uh, well for us on both yeah, ends yeah, of the floor yeah. if we're able to take advantage. For him, Strobel makes a nice, a nice athletic move to tip that ball away. Looked like she might have had a chance to just grab it. Ball over to, stays with OA. Foxborough looking to turn them out and keep them only with jump shots on the outside. OA looking to drive and dish, which is... And we turned her a little deeper on the baseline there, and the ball kicks out of bounds, ball over to Foxborough. Batista, Batista checks back in. Foxborough brings the ball up, looking to set an offense here. Let's see how they work. Work this. Tara Grilly with there the ball is. on the left side. Raheem Struble low post. Yep. She squares. She gets fouled. But she has to look at the. She's got to look. She's shooting is. She's shooting without looking at the hoop. She's got to look. Nonetheless, she's at the line for two. Well, if you're going to miss, you may as well get fouled and go to the line. So that's good. Two shots. First is good. Tying the score at 17. 202 to play in the first half. Raheem Struble with her second shot. That's a little hard left. And Tara Greeley whistled on the she did. rebounding effort. Yeah, she was not in position and she tried to find a position. And it's 17 foul, so it's uh, one and one for OA. How many is that on? That's, that's two on Two? Yeah. Okay. Don't like to see anybody pick up three in the first no. half it does that because that impacts. So Taylor Horn, sophomore for OA, is at the line. First is no good, so she doesn't get a second. And she returns, she, the, favor. she returns the favor. And that'll put that, Tara at the line. That's right. That is their <laughs> second, uh, seventh team foul, and now Tara Greeley gets to go to the line for a one and one. Coach Payne trying to communicate something to the players on the floor. I think. I think what Coach is trying to tell them is, if you make them, go five, uh, go five hundred. Okay. Well, and you man, know what man that means. Man to man, <laughs> full court, yeah. in their face. See if you can make something happen in the last two minutes of this game, uh, this first half. So Tara made her first, now she gets the second. Yeah. 
And that's off the left side. Rebound to OA. They look to push the ball up the floor. Foxborough back on D. Batiste with the ball far right. OA looking to exploit those little gaps that you find in the uh, zone defense. Foxborough looking to turn them out and make them play on the perimeter, and it pays off there. Foxborough causes the turnover, but simply by having good defensive pressure. So Rachel Jamison out, and Michelle Cameron in. Almost looks like a defense-offense kind of yeah. substitution pattern there. Foxborough brings the ball to the floor. Minute 39 to go in the first half. With a one-point lead for Foxborough. Michelle Cameron with the ball on the right side, gets the ball into Sam Briggs. Dish back out. Sam Briggs shuffles her feet there. I think coach is trying to say to the referee, she got pushed. She right? got pushed, yeah. which is why she, yeah. she stumbled or shuffled. And, and it looked like that to me. But the referee's got the whistle on the stripes, you know. Oh, too much of an, that's an easy drive there. I'm not sure what that's about. Not, not even an effort to play defense there. So uh, 08 retakes the lead, 19-18. Foxborough with the ball. Sam Briggs. She's going to get called again. Yeah, yep. Shuffling her feet. So it's very uncertain out yeah. there right now. You know, she, like most high school players, it's, it's a matter of rhythm and, and confidence. And if you have a couple of bad things work against you, it takes a little bit of focus to get yourself back on track. And uh, I think that's what her issue is right now. Can't afford to be timid out here, though. Jump shot from just inside the foul line by Oliver Ames, Katie Vadalaro. Foxborough with the ball. Now down by three. Eric really with the ball up high. Looks to drive baseline. Raheem Struble down low. A beautiful pass. It was beautiful a great pass. pass. Yep. Great drive and pass by Tara Greeley. Raheem Struble not able to even come close with that, that layup, though. That, that blows right over the basket. I think Coach those, is trying those, to tell her to focus because. Those are the ones we've got to convert, right? Yeah, you've you got to take the easy ones because OA, when they have those opportunities, they're not missing them. No. And, and right now, we're not making them at all. And, and that's uh, a huge difference in this game. Raheem Struble wheels, and that again makes, makes a nice move. Good position by Sam, and she... Uh, and Sam had great yeah, position yeah. on the, for the rebound, and gets fouled on the putback. Good news is, we're getting the ball in the right position, and we're getting some rebounds. Bad news, we're not doing anything with it. So we, we need to turn that around. Sam Briggs with the first of her two foul shots. Uh, first one, yeah, mostly, mostly yeah. in. You almost should almost get a half a point for that. Let's take another look at the foul on Sam Briggs there. Got a nice offensive rebound and gets fouled by two players. I don't know who they called that on, but two players fouled her on the putback. Sam yeah, Ra Briggs. Rachel back into the game, uh, probably for getting this for defensive purposes. Yeah. With 25 seconds left here in the, in the first half. Second is good by Sam Briggs. Makes it a one point game. Foxborough drops back in their yeah. defense. 22 seconds to go in the first half. OA got away with a little bit of a carry there. Foxborough doing a nice job extending. Skip pass over to Batista who looks to drive. Sam brings a kind of anticipated uh, some contact there and didn't get it. Nope. Shot by Rachel Jameson doesn't go. And that brings a close to the first half with Oliver Ames with a 23-19 lead. I don't, I don't like the way the last couple of min no. minutes went in that first half. We seem to get out of our rhythm. Uh, and, and in part, I think it's the girls are feeling a little pressured uh, because they're missing those easy shots. They add pressure to themselves, and, and that causes them to miss them even more, I guess. And they need to get their composure. And... Uh, and, and, and respond better in those situations because, as I mentioned before, Oliver Ames is, they're, they're capitalizing on those opportunities down low. They're not missing those hoops. Or if they are, they're getting the offensive re rebounds and getting the putback. So that, that's the difference in the game right now. What do we have we'll, for we'll uh, points? We'll pick up the scoring when we come back. I just need okay. to, to check, uh, double check the numbers. We, we will bring you first half scoring when we come back. Uh, it is halftime here at Foxborough High School. And uh, Oliver Ames has a four point lead, 23 to 19. We'll see you in the second half.
Welcome back to the Foxboro High School for second half action of the Hockamock League game between the Foxboro Lady Warriors and the Oliver Ames Lady Tigers. Foxboro Warriors uh, find themselves at a four point deficit entering this uh, second half, but they start the half uh, with the ball. And let's see what adjustments uh, the teams have made. Right out of the box, it looks like uh, Oliver Ames has switched it back into a zone. Kristen Huffman makes a nice job, uh, does a nice job getting that shot off. But uh, Rahima Struble gets the, the offensive rebound, but again, wheels and, and uh, misses the backboard and then the basket pretty wild to the right. Kristen Huffman steps in the passing lane there, gets an intercept and, and looks to drive the ball. And it was kind of ill-advised. She picked up a double team there, got snuffed, and but ends up back with the, with the ball. So she looks to drive baseline, takes that shot, that's off. I think she thought she was fouled there. Olive Rames looks to push the ball up the floor. Switching sides. Again, uh, that, that weak side, that weak side is where we're getting killed on that offensive scheme of Olive Rames. Olive Rames starts this half, half looking to press the ball full court. Foxborough breaks pressure that time, brings the ball up. Tara Greeley with a three point effort off glass. It's good. Did she call that? <laughs> I don't we'll know take it. We're, I gonna, don't, we're gonna say she did. I don't know if she called it or yeah. not, but it's good, count it. So the uh, lead is now cut to three. It was at six, which was the highest of the game. Foxborough uh, doing a better job here at defensively turning Oliver Rames out. So important what we do on that weak side with the defense. And so again, same thing there. We're a little, Take another look at that three-pointer by Tara Greeley. Ball goes out wide left. It's one dribble, plants, nice rhythm on that. Count it. But Foxborough's gonna have to do a much better job on that weak side. He, they got exploited again there, but we got away with it, although we ended up with a foul. Sam Briggs comes down with the defensive rebound. Kicks The ball kicks out of bounds, but uh, the foul is on Oliver Ames. I didn't hear who that was yeah, on. I think it's, it's number it's, 10. It's on uh, Kelly Duggan. Okay, she picks up the third. Okay, Foxborough with the ball. Down by three, looking to find a hole in this uh, Oliver Ames zone defense. Skip pass there. Got, re uh, got tipped away. Oliver Ames looks to push the ball up the floor. Yeah, they filled the yeah. lanes nicely. Yeah, Tarek on really did an excellent yeah, job yeah. there. Good anticipation, yeah. held, her, held her position, took the hit. And it was offensive uh, foul on Oliver Ames. Okay, here, let's take another look at that. Tarek really did a nice job, set her position, gave the Oliver Ames player nowhere to go. Oliver Ames stays with their full court pressure. Foxborough looks to break it. He does so easily, they were a little tiptoe down the sideline. Low post to Raheem Struble. she kicks it back up top to Tarek Greeley. Little jumper from the left side, uh, right side, I'm sorry, is off. And Oliver Ames looks to push the ball up the floor. And they're not Five. able to uh, <laughs> convert. Ball goes off the Oliver Ames player and it ball back over to Foxborough. Very fast pace. Uh, start to the second half. Huh? Start yeah. to the second half here. Yeah. Coach uh, pulled Tara Greeley out to give her instruction on what to do with that play, I think. Give herself a better scoring opportunity. Rachel Jameson brings the ball over, over to Kristen Huffman on the left side. She looks to drive baseline. She does, misses badly, but Rahima Struble did a nice there job there. She got the offensive board, and you can see her focus was on the shot and did a really nice job there scoring that bucket. Uh, now Foxborough down only by one. Olive Rames looking again to penetrate. Batista with the ball to the right side. Good box out yep. by Jesse Heinrich. Jesse Heinrich did a yep. nice job boxing out there. And we came away with a fairly easy rebound as a result. Yeah. So Fox brought the ball up top. Coach Bain calling out an offensive play. Looking to cut off. Ball to the uh, Sam Briggs at the top. Yep. Had Raheem Estrubel on that low block right. Uh, let's take a look at uh, that last basket. Nope, doesn't look like we're out here. Nope, doesn't look like we're going to get it. Uh, Brittany Stopa checks into the game for Sam Briggs. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Raheem Struble, look at her. Much better with the focus. You could see that she was looking at the hoop. So Foxborough stays in its, uh, Foxborough is in a man. 
No, nope, I'm sorry, they stay in a, in a zone. Rahima Struble picks up a foul, low block there. Yeah, it's too bad, because it looked yeah. to me like she had she position, had get, yeah. and then she kind of gave up the position in order to set up to get a block, and ends up being a foul. I think she would have been better served just holding that spot, getting her arms up in the air, and challenging the offensive player. But Kelly Duggan goes to the line, shooting two. First is no good. Surprised Kelly Duggan stayed in the game. Their starting point guard uh, picked up her third foul early on here in the third quarter. Well, I think you'll see a switch on that if she picks up her fourth. Yeah. Second one is no good. Rahima Struble with the rebound out to Rachel Jamison. And Foxborough looks to push the ball up the floor. Uh, Olive Rames does not press full court that time, backing off of that. Errant pass to the inside. Looked like she was trying to get it to oh, Brittany, Brittany Stopa. Yep. <coughs> but not able to get the ball to her on the effort. Olive Rames uh, causes us to step on the line with the steal. Take another look at that. Yeah, Rachel Jameson yeah. picks up the loose ball, just had her heel on the end line though. Foxborough stays in their zone. Nice, nice intercept there by Rachel Jameson. Yeah. Unfortunately, she dribbles the ball off her own foot and it goes back over to Olive Rames. Batista drives lane. I don't know why Rahima stayed back on that. She's got to come out and challenge her coming down the lane very clearly. Uh, either way, three-point effort by Kristen Hoffman. Off the front end, Lauren Batista's got a running start here. She's not going to miss that. Not a bad time for a timeout. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't want to let this get away. I mean, we had it down to, to one point. One point, yeah. Back up to five. No, back up to five. Well, while we have a chance, Mark, just a, an update on the scoring. We didn't get a chance to do that at halftime. That's right. Uh, first half scoring, uh, Fox Bar with a total of 19 points. Uh, Rahima and uh, Rahima Strobel and, and Tara Greeley both with five. Uh, Rachel Jamison with four. And we had Kristen Hoffman with two, Sam Briggs with three. And that's uh, for a total of 19. Um, for Oliver Ames, their top three scorers, uh, Lauren Batista with nine, and then Latalaro and Bostic each with four. So fairly well balanced scoring yeah, yeah. For, for both teams. Yeah, thank you for that. Well, Foxborough's got to get themselves more composed here. Setting the floor for Foxborough, we've got Rahima Scribble, Sam Briggs, Olivia Roma, Kristen Huffman, and Abby Morrissey. Foxborough ball. Again, trailing by five points. Important uh, possession, I think, here. Because Olive Rains was starting to, to feel the ropes there, and they were having too much of an easy time of it. We weren't really challenging well. Right. we got two sophomores into the game, uh, Libby Roma and Abby Morrissey. Ball into the low post to Rahima Struble, kick to the left elbow for Sam Briggs. That shot's off. Foxborough challenges that ball, but Oliver Ames able to keep control of it. This should Three. be an interesting matchup. Libby Roma on Batista, and she gets picked. Oh, nice offensive rebound by uh, Katie Vallelaro Val 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 there. And she gets the put back. And those are the circumstances that I was talking about before. That's, that's the right, yeah, it was a good, smart basketball play there. And Vadalaro, the nice, nice shot there from the right side for Sam Briggs. But Oliver Ames is getting those opportunities and putting them back, and we're getting the opportunities and not doing enough with it. So that's where we need to, to change this. So Oliver Ames with the ball with a five point lead. Nice job by Sam Briggs anticipating that pass into the, the low post. But the ball will stay with Olive Rames with 17 on the shot clock. Two minutes, 36 seconds to go in the third quarter. Rachel Jamison subs in for Kristen Hoffman. Kristen struggling again, uh, Mark. I can't help but notice her outside shooting. Yeah, um, it, it, they're not even close. No, no. no and that's not what, not, not what we're used to seeing from her. No, we're not. No. Uh, the last couple of games, she, she seemed to struggle from the outside. She certainly does her part uh, running the offense. 
uh, shooting foul shots and defensively, but uh, she's 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 struggling with her yeah, shooting. It's, al it's almost like she's pressing a little bit. She had a couple of games where she was scoring well and easily. So Katie Vadalaro at the line, shooting two, and the first is good. And second is good. Giving uh, Oliver Ames a seven point lead. Kristen Huffman checks back in. Livy Roma goes out. And Foxborough with the ball. Again, an important possession here. We need yeah. to get points. Can, cannot let Oliver Ames continue to get their advantage. Nice drive there, left Just side. Just as we speak, right? Well, you know, yeah, and that's a sign going. of a yeah. good shooter yeah. is somebody who's going to miss, 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 but keep trying. And, and making it happen, and she did that there, and, and uh, good for her. An important hoop. Uh, that was a big basket. Yeah, three point, it was even challenged. Yeah. A little late, but it was challenged. So ball back over to Foxborough. OA's biggest lead at eight points right now, and, and Sarah Bain wants a timeout. Yep. Wants to talk about it. I suspect there's certain keys on who they have to, have to challenge on every shot. Here's that last drive challenge but she stayed with it nicely done uh, but certain key players that have to be challenged every time they shoot and uh, the coach knows who they are and, and we have to do a good job of that we can't let them have those open three pointers because they're going to make too, too high a percentage of those yeah coming out of this timeout mark i mean it, the way i look at this right now all Ol of rams can't score a point in the next minute 50 seconds we've no. got to shut them down shut right them here. down this quarter yep. score a couple of baskets yep. ourselves yep. and then we're back into this game All right, Foxborough with the ball. Let's see what they've got in mind coming out of that timeout. Kristen Hoffman looking to get the ball to Sam Briggs, wide left. Look, looked, at a, yeah. looked to have a skip pass there yeah. to the weak side to Abby Morrissey. Sam Briggs with a hard drive right side. And that was somewhat ill-advised. I'm yeah. not sure that's the shot she, she or the coach would have wanted. Uh, and then she fouls to follow it up. That's only her second personal, so she's not in trouble or anything. Foxborough looking to extend pressure here. They get it in. Break the pressure pretty easily. Nice tip away by Rachel Jamison there. I'm not sure how that's not called a travel on Batista. She ro uh, rolled with the ball. But in any event, Batista with a loose ball, offensive rebound, turns and scores. Oh, boy. Yeah. That hurts. Yep. Well, you know, they're, they're, they're making the most of their opportunities inside, and, and we're not at this point, so hopefully we will. Rachel Jamison drives, gets tripped up. Abby Morrissey drives left yeah. side. Yeah, she saw the wow. vacancy on that weak side and exploited it there. She likes that left-hand drive to the baseline. Yeah, she sure does. Yeah. And she does it well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is not good. No. Not a... Uh, you know, Rahima had nice yeah. position there. She didn't need to swat at that. She would Take a look at that last basket for Foxborough. Absolutely. Vacant weak yeah. side. That was a nice heads yeah, up Sam drive. Set a, Sam set a screen up top, but uh, I don't know what 53 was doing. Just kind of let her walk around. Yeah. Didn't contest it. Yeah, that it. freed her up off the yeah. guard, but it, it, there was nobody at home on the, on the weak side. So Katie Vadalaro shooting two. Kayleen Wall comes in for Sam Briggs. And second free throw coming up. And that gives them a 10 point bulge in this game. Foxborough with the ball. 45 seconds to play in this third quarter. Rachel Jameson looking to drive. That's, that's not going to work. We need to have some picks or screens or something to free up these outside players. Lob pass into Rahima Struble. Kayleen Wall not able to complete the drive. Ball goes over to Olive Rames. Oh, so a double dribble right there. Yeah. Right? 17 to play, 17 seconds to play in this third quarter. Foxborough comes up with a loose ball. Rachel Jameson drives. And that's we good. Go. Well run fast break. Yep. Oh, kick, 
ball's kicked loose. Not able to no foul here. There you go. All right, end of the third quarter. It is an eight point Oliver Ames lead, 40 to 32. Let's take a look at that last basket. Rachel Jameson on the fast break, fast break drive, and it was good. So we'll see what sort of adjustments we have uh, coming into the fourth quarter, down by eight. Now defensively, we've got to we've got to do a better job. Offensively, we've got to put away those shots, those easy opportunities. Be honest with you, if we if we made even only half of those, yeah, we'd have yeah, the lead right now. Yeah, I, I agree, Mark. We're getting the opportunities. You know, we're, we're getting we're getting the ball down low. Yep. Uh, we've got to convert the baskets. We're we're not getting a lot of looks outside. We've we've taken. If I think back, we think about the shots we've taken the outside. Yeah. Not, a, the not many. Not many. Not many. Not many. But, but we are low. getting those shots foul line and in side of yep. the lane and yep. in, and and uh, we're we're just not converting those. And that's that's really the yeah. difference in the game right now. We'd have a lead if we just completed a, a small percentage of right. those. God forbid we actually shoot 50% from inside <laughs> the lane. We'd, we would be probably ahead by six or eight points at this point. All right, well, let's see what we've got in store for the last quarter of this game. Olive Rames starts the final quarter with the ball, and Foxborough extends their defense a little bit, stays in a 2-3, looking to challenge. Oh, I'm sorry, it was a 3-2 defense uh, zone. Olive Rames looks to get it inside, goes baseline, that's long. To Tara Greeley. Good defense by Kristen Double Hoffman team. contesting that shot. Yes. So important to contest those shots. Kristen Hoffman. Uh, wow. Oh, how can that I'm not be a foul? Huh? I, I don't know. She oh, was driving and got turned away. And Oliver Ames oh, comes up the loose ball. And I, that's a four point yeah. difference in the game right there. Because I, I, I'm not sure how they don't call that a foul. But they didn't. So on we go. Kristen Hoffman with the ball to Rachel Jamison off to. Rahima Strubel, skip pass over to Tara Greeley, gets to the foul line. Two-point effort by Sam Briggs from nearly the three-point line. And defensive rebound to Olive Rames. They push the ball up, right side, back up top, left side. Foxborough challenging with their defense. Uh, that would <laughs> Sam Briggs uh, set that defense a little too high there. Yeah. Gave the, Let's take a little look at that, yeah. that drive. Kristen Huffman drives. There's no reach in there, huh? No, no. Come on. <laughs> Holy jeez. Well, in she any pointed event. out, Mark. Four-point swing. We, yeah, we, yeah, we can't afford that right now. Nope. Those kinds of things make a difference in the game. Uh, all of Rams play got a little, yeah. got away with a little travel dance there. Yeah. But ultimately yeah. gets called in low post because it was very good defensive pressure there by Rahima Strubel. And, and Tara Greeley. And Tara Greeley double teaming that uh, Olive Rams player, I, number 53, I believe, Tessa right. Dern. So on the turnover, Foxborough comes up with the ball. Sarah's, Tara, Sarah's urging the team to push the ball up the court here. You gotta well, pick up the tempo. We're time, running out yeah, of time. Yeah, time is, is not where our, our benefit here. There you go. All right, so Tessa Dern picks up a foul, it looks like. Yep, 53. Foul on uh, Sam Briggs. That's only the second, our third team foul. Leah Tacey checks in for Rahima Struble. Foxborough ball under their basket. And, and I, I agree with Coach that, you know, we, this is not a time to take your time. Every, every possession has to be important. Every opportunity has to be cherished because we're going to run out of time. Olive Rames with the uh, shot opportunity off of Foxborough. Ball stays with Olive Rames. Lauren Batista checks back in the game for Katie Ty for Olive Rames. Olivia Roma comes in the game for Tara Greeley. Foxborough challenging, doing a nice job, but somehow Lauren Batista gets that ball down low. And if she's got position underneath yeah. the basket, she's scoring. Very creative ball player. Kristen Hoffman with the ball up top over to Olivia Roma. Looking to get the ball into Sam Briggs in the low post. Olivia Roma looks to drive baseline, not able to get there. Ball, they look to get the ball to Leah Tacey down on the left low block. She got pushed into the lane. Ball went wide out of bounds, but on a tip by Oliver Ames, it stays with Foxborough. 
Kristen Hoffman with the ball back into Leah Tasty. She wheels and shoots. Not that doesn't go. Yeah. Sam Briggs was ah, a little out of position here. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have made a play at that. She picks up her third. Yep. So Oliver Ames with the ball. Foxborough with full court pressure. And ball off of good defensive pressure by Sam Briggs. Oliver Ames coach didn't think so. No, I, there was a foul there. Yeah, it, I, I can see her point. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't call it, just like they do call some of the others. Right. Um, they didn't call that, and, and the ball goes over to Foxborough. Again, Olivia Romo with the ball on the left hand side, up top to Rachel Jamison. Foxborough's kind of standing still here, though, and, and that's not effective. Kristen Hoffman with the three point effort wide right. And that's no good. Olivia Romo with the intercept on a long pass got numbers. by Rames. Three on two. Good pass there. Nice drive to the hoop by Kristen Hoffman. Yeah. So those are, you know, the, those are the play, those yep. are the shots we have to make. Yeah, we've got an offensive drought here, Mark. Uh, nearly three minutes into the uh, fourth quarter, we don't have a point here. No, we, and, we and, need and we're down 12. Yeah. So Foxborough with the ball gets it in. Uh, Rachel Jamison gets into Kristen Hoffman over. The, I'm sorry, it was uh, Olivia Roma, and now it's Rachel Jamison up top with the ball. Again, we're, we're, I don't like the offensive scheme. We're standing still. Nice look there. Leah Tacey with the putback. And she's fouled. So Leah, so Leah Tacey, well, let's take another look at that. Leah Tacey, nice job getting to that ball. Put back. She gets one at the foul line. Abby Marcy comes in for Kristen Hoffman. So Leah Tacey with her foul shot. That's a little long and right. Foxborough comes up with the ball. Abby Marcy chooses to bring it back out. Raheem Scribble wheels. Didn't have real good square up on that. And the ball misses a little short and left. And the ball over to Olive Rames. And Foxborough down by 10. Really to get need we need a series of defensive stops here because we're running out of time. Four and a half to play. Yeah. Olive Rames with the three point effort from the right side. That's uh, that's Chase's second three. Yep, clearly yeah. can't leave her by herself. She makes too much of that. And I've got a point on now. Always one one foul away from being in the bonus. No. Yeah. Wow, we got bailed Thank out on yep. that one. Because Raymond Strobel traveled quite travel, a bit yeah. in trying to find yeah. a position in there. Let's take a look at that 08 three pointer. Kicked out wide. Yeah. Nobody within 15 feet of her. Can't let him have that. Raymond Strobel with the ball in a low post. Wow, a no, no call on all that contact. Uh, I think because yeah. the ball kicked out before they actually interacted and got dragged to the floor. Referees explain that Rama Struble what things she shouldn't be doing in there, I think. What can't you do in there? Well, I, I think the locking your arms and dragging the other player to the floor is <laughs> probably well, frowned think, upon. That's just, foul. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's actually good when uh, skip pass over to Abby Marcy is a little bit long, out of bounds. It's actually very good when the referees will take the time to explain to somebody, sure, look, you sure, can't I do that. They don't know, I know that. <laughs> uh, hopefully they learn and, and they can avoid extra fouls. And I'd rather have them mm. admonish them once and, and say, look, if you do that again, you're going to get whistled for it. So that's helpful. Now right, we have a full time out here. Hopeful that we can take a look into the huddle there to see what Coach Baines has got. In, here we go. See what she's got in mind. I'm interested. It's not. Yeah. We're not finding a lot working right now. I like that yeah, idea. Yeah. Looks like she's going to set up a shooter on the outside for three and well, three. Do a double screen. And, 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 and if it's not there, well, if it's not there, yeah. then we should have a, a yeah. flash to the, the low block yeah. offensively. And, and I always like that sort of play. I've always instructed the girls, particularly the fives and the fours. 
you know, get the ball at the foul line, dish it back out, and while that player then goes deep on that side, slide the ba slide the li side of the lane, look for the ball back. All right, well, all the Rams with the ball right now. Foxborough uh, token pressure up top. They've extended their defense a little bit. Fortunately, that will open up some jump shot opportunities for Oliver Ames. They get to the lane. Leah Tacey ties it up. No, oh, they call the travel. Yep. No, they I, did. Okay, I yep. thought they called a the tie-up. But uh, Foxborough ball, nonetheless. Oh, no, actually, I take that back. Yeah. Uh, they called the jump ball. I didn't see either referee show the jump ball sign. I, that's why I thought they yeah. ended up calling travel. But it's a jump ball, ball, ball to Foxborough in any event. Uh, trailing by 13. And we need to make something happen here pretty soon because it's three and a half to play. You see, all, I mean, all of Ames are gonna, they're going to extend their defense and not allow Eric really that with a three. Long three. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's a terrific shot, and I'm glad we made that. But there's got to be a sense of urgency. Yeah. The, the players have to recognize that we need to up the intensity, go after the ball, move more on offense. And then we got to play defense. Got to play defense. Yeah. And we're, we got bailed out there. Uh, Olive Rams had a nice uh, inside opportunity, and they missed that. Oh, Rachel, Rachel Jamison, I, I, I like that. It was it's not the, the greatest shot, but she absolutely was going to draw the foul. Take another look at that three-pointer, and we'll get back to Rachel's uh, play. Yep, she had a nice open look from the top. She likes that shot, so if you're feeling it, you got to take it. <laughs> Here's another look at it. Got nice, squared up, nice rhythm. So Rachel Jamison hits the first of her two foul shots and, and again it, it, it would probably a little bit of an ill-advised shot uh, on this right side there yeah. but it, at least it was action we yeah. tried to do something we drew the foul she, I think she forced she, contact yeah. she absolutely yeah. knew she was gonna at least get fouled yeah. there and that's it's making something happen and there's not enough time to sit back and watch so the second is good Foxborough now shows full court pressure looking to trap the ball Rachel David oh Rachel unfortunately very uh -huh. good. well yeah. you know she yeah. ran out of space she had the ball for a second, and, and she ran out of space, but it was excellent defensive effort there. And Rachel picked up her seventh and eighth points with those last two free throws made uh, so here, here tonight. Here's continue. And Olive Rams able to get the ball out. Boy, very fortunate there. And Batista drives. Who? Nobody, nobody stepped up to play yeah, defense. I don't making understand too, that. Too, too easy. Somebody's got, somebody's got to do something, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Rachel Jameson tries that same drive that Olive Rams is smart enough this time not to foul her, but uh, Foxborough keeps the defensive pressure on and causes uh, the turnover with the travel. Uh, Katie Ty uh, traveled the ball. Let's take another look at that. Basically, no effort on that last drive by Olive Rams to play defense. Rachel Jameson with a three-point effort, a little long. Sam Briggs with the offensive offensive rebound. She didn't have a good feel or a good read on what the defensive player was giving her because if she had a spun to the inside, she'd have had her shielded off, and she'd had an easy square up and an, an absolutely easy re, uh, layup. Well, we can see that from here. We well, had a pretty good angle. Yeah, but, uh, you know, but yeah. one of the things agree, we've Mark. always taught the kids is you have to know where the defensive player is. You've got to feel where she is and take what they're giving you. So... If, if, if she's playing it to the outside, let's take another look at that. Yeah, see, she's, she's got to feel where yeah, she is. Yeah. That, that, well, you know, Batista's thinking she's going to go right. Yeah. Well, that's because she, well, she favors that, yeah. so that's, that's her move. Second is no good. Yeah. And Olive Rams pushes the ball up the floor. Good anticipation. Yes, excellent job by uh, uh, Livy Roma. She gets the ball out to Rachel Jamison. Yeah. I'm not Chris, sure Kristen, I'm Kristen not forced sure. that turnover yep. there. She was right there if she turned after well, she receiving had, the ball. She had her totally yeah. discombobulated yeah. there because she, she traveled. <laughs> the coach was imploring the referee to call the travel, and while she was asking for the travel call, uh, the OA player stepped out of bounds, so it worked. Well, we need some points here, Mark. Well, we, ten the lead, lead is 10. Yeah. It, if we're going to make a push, now is the time. Can't be bashful to shoot. I'm nope. sure Tara won't be right here. And a little short. Nice, nice rebound by yeah, Sam Briggs. Not able to put it, put it oh. back. How about one of these? How about one of these? Oh, well, that's a quick whistle. 
Yeah. But re knowing what the rule, definition of the rule is, yeah. Yeah. it's probably yeah. the right call. Yeah. Yeah. It's a situation where somebody could potentially get hurt. So it's the right call. Foxborough had their opportunities. Three, op three effort, or three good looks at that. And, and we weren't able to put it away. And, and you're just not going to win basketball games if you can't put those shots away. And we haven't tonight. No. Right now from the very first minute. Carrick really looks to drive right, not open. Rachel Jameson, jumper from the right side, not good. Sam Briggs unable to come up with the rebound, but the loose ball to Kristen Hoffman, who drives baseline. And, the, and, and Tessa Dern for OA played very good defense yeah, yeah. there. Forced, forced her wide and shallow, but uh, bailed her out with a foul. And here's another look at that. Yeah, she got yeah. a left hand on her. She didn't have yeah, to do anything because no, no. the, the best that uh, Kristen was going to be able to do was dribble under the basket. She was never going to be able to see it. But that's okay. We'll take that. So the first of the two foul shots is good. Checking in is uh, Jess Heinrecker for Mahima Struble. Frustrating game for uh, Foxborough tonight. Second foul shot's no good. And OA comes up with the ball. Foxborough looks to press. Ooh, a little bit of a travel that got away with it there. Uh, right in front of us, Mark. Yeah, that, yeah, you know, what else is there to look Drag at? How's he, miss, a little bit. how's he miss that? Yeah. Got to call that. Not in any event, Foxborough pressing the ball. And that's our seventh team foul. So Lauren Batista will go to the line, shooting one and one. But we're, you know, the minute five seconds, we don't have any other options except for fouling. And down by 11. Well, frankly, as we've tried to pressure OA full court, they beat us down the floor. You know, at the time, we, we, we did force a couple turnovers, but they break the press, and they've got too easy a... a, a yeah, when they do break, they end up with yeah. the layup opportunity, yeah. and, and they're not missing those. And we're not making them, and that's the difference tonight, unfortunately. So the first is good. 12-point lead for Oliver Ames. And the second is good. So Foxborough down by 13, minute five to go. Michelle Cameron into the game, but I don't think we're gonna no. see her get an opportunity to take a shot from the no, other side. That's her game. Oh. Yeah, they know exactly why she's in the game yeah. and who she is, and that she's a, an outside threat. So they're gonna, they're gonna be right on her. So Foxborough with the ball under their own basket, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Michelle Cameron with the ball up high. To Tara Greeley, wide right. She takes a three-point effort, very short. Loose ball to Oliver Ames. Oh, she got away with a double dribble there. But they turn the ball over. But they turn the ball over. Foxborough comes up with the ball. Now 42.9 seconds to play. We're going to have to get a quick score if we're going to have any opportunity. Michelle Cameron with a nice, nice duck under move there. Gets a shot off. But doesn't go. Batista with the ball. Tara Greeley looked like she was trying to draw the foul, and no whistle. Now down to 25 pointless, seconds. Pointless at this yeah, at this point, I yeah. think it, it is done. Oliver Rams with the ball wide. They're content to just let the clock play out. Six, six on the shot six clock. Six on the shot clock. Yeah. And they get the shot, and it doesn't go, but they get the rebound, and they're fouled. Sam Briggs on the foul. She picks up her fourth. Her fourth foul, but that's of no moment. Eight, seven eight seconds, yeah. Yeah, 7.8 seconds left. And Alex Chase to the line shooting two. First is good. Second is off. Parag really with the rebound. Ball to Michelle Cameron. Back to Tara Grilly with a long three-point effort that goes. Unfortunately, all that does is make the score look a little prettier. Uh, final score, 54 Olive Rames, Foxborough 43. And that was a game of what could have been. Uh, we had many, many opportunities with those. Take another look at that last shot. Indeed a thing of beauty, but again, too little, too late. Launches it, nothing but net. Uh, but getting back to that, game, it, it was a game of lost opportunities. We had lots and lots of opportunity to, to score inside, and we just 
couldn't put the ball away. And, and I'm sure, having been yeah. in that position myself, and I know you have as a coach, uh, Coach Bain is going to think about that for the next couple yeah. of days and, and say what could have been. Because had they been able to pull this off tonight, that would have been a big win for them. It's and it's and it's it was, yeah. and in, in my mind, it was a game they were in a position to win. You know, we, we had the opportunities. There was a good effort. And I think if they score some of those baskets on those easy putbacks or the easy opportunities, they feel much better and more confident, and, and it just grows, and they would have done uh, a, a better job of it. But yeah, Mark, not for tonight. I, from what I saw tonight, they, they match up well against OA. Yeah, no question. Um, two, I think, very evenly matched teams. Now, they certainly, you look at the records, and Oliver Ames now at 10-2 uh, and two overall and 8-2 and two in, the, uh, in the Hawk. But uh, not that Fox, much of a difference not, between not them and us. Not much of a difference. No, and you can say that ab about a lot of the league. What, what, but what, what they do have is they have the one player who is a very consistent they do. scorer. They and, do. And, you know, the rest, they fill in as, as opportunities allow. But having Lauren Batista uh, score uh, 21 points. 21 yeah, points. Yeah, she had uh, the lion's share of the points, right? And we, we did a fair job against her in the first half, I thought. Uh, but second half, clearly, we, we just weren't stepping up. We weren't. We weren't stepping in to take away drives gave her plenty of opportunities yeah, that yeah. Uh, she didn't otherwise deserve but well, you, you, know, you you pointed out you know they they finish their shots they yep. don't miss the shots around the basket um, we certainly had ample opportunities down low and uh, we just we didn't convert that's right um, so but you know what that game's over yep and nothing we can do about it so we look forward to friday and on friday we have a special day because we're going to for the first time ever broadcast all three games freshmen JV and varsity looking very much forward to that it should be a, a great opportunity to display the, the entire Foxborough Lady Warrior program uh, and again an, another thanks to uh, Cable 8 tonight our producer was Doug Briggs and happy birthday to Doug Briggs again his 50th, birth, 50th birthday executive director was Mike Everson Re on replay we have Scott Daniels graphics Frank McDowell and on cameras tonight we have Chris Brolin Chris Brolin Ray McKenna Matt Shea and Dave Faye a thank you to all of them they make this possible and uh, this is Mark Stopa for Bob Blakely, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next broadcast. Good night. We'll see you Friday.